One thing's for certain, after you see this movie, you will have a desperate craving for marmalade. Did I have to say it British? Paddington stars Hugh Bonneville, Sally Hawkins, and Ben Wishaw as the voice of Paddington. And it's directed by Paul King. And this is the story of Paddington Bear, a Peruvian bear who travels to London in hopes of finding a family. And he's taken in by a family, who knows, maybe long term, maybe short term, but he's trying to find a family for himself. He's a very cute bear. And basically mayhem and misadventures ensue. You also got Nicole Kidman as a version of Cruella DeVille, basically. And who else? I don't know the actor's name, but I think he's the latest Doctor Who actor. All I know is his eyes look like he smoked eight pounds of meth. And I wasn't sure what to think of this movie. It came out in January. I was like, ah, I don't, I don't know. But I was pleasantly surprised. Paddington is a really fun movie, and I love that Paddington bear. He's awesome. I don't know about the original cartoon or anything, but this Paddington bear I really like. He's very charming. He's a very cute bear. The animation on him is pretty good. You know, it's not amazing. It's not Caesar from Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, but it's still good animation. And he's just a likable, fun, naive little character. And it's sort of like that whole fish out of water story. We've seen it before. You got misadventures, he floods the bathroom, he does this and that. There's a really funny chase, actually, an accidental chase. Like, really, he's just the misadventures he gets in are actually really cute to me, and I enjoyed it a lot. And the family that takes him in, you know, there's some good characters there. They're all well-acted, for sure. And as I said, the, their landlord guy, the Doctor Who actor, yeah, he's scary looking. His eyes, he smoked a lot of meth or something, because he's got scary eyes. But I want to talk about Nicole Kidman, okay? This is like Cruella DeVille 2.0 or something. She wants to stuff Paddington Bear. She's got. A, she works at the Museum of Natural History and she just loves killing animals and stuffing them. And yeah, she wants to stuff Paddington Bear. She doesn't want to turn him into a coat like she did, like Cruella DeVille wanted to do with those hundred puppies. By the way, that's a big coat. Nicole Kidman gave a very good performance in this. You know, she seemed like, yeah, I'm just a silly character, I'm gonna go for it. And she did. A very attractive sociopath woman, and uh, yeah, I liked her a lot as a villain. This movie's all about Paddington, his misadventures, the funny stuff that happens. He's a cute character, and it's sort of a cute movie. That's basically the best way to describe it. It's just a fun time to watch. If you're a kid, you'll probably love it a whole lot. And I actually, I was surprised. I really did enjoy it. And marmalade. I really want to eat some marmalade now because of this movie. It's just crushed up oranges, but they make it sound so yummy. My only problems with this movie, really, is, yeah, it's very familiar. You sort of know where it's going from scene to scene. It's like, oh, yes, we've seen it all before. But the movie's still a fun time, even though it is pretty much a cliche, familiar movie that we've all seen before. If you're an adult taking a child to a movie, you don't have to be your parents. I don't know why you have a kid taking them to a movie, but under whatever circumstances, yeah, you'll enjoy the movie too, I think. Unless you're a heartless prick with a small manhood. So yeah, I would give Paddington a B. It's a fun time, a little familiar, but still very cute, fun little movie. I enjoyed it quite a bit. So comment below, let me know what you thought of Paddington, and thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.